Welcome to Crypto Live. After Apple and Amazon, Ripple XRP is now in partnership again with another multinational technology company. Yeah, that's right. So to learn more about this partnership, stay tuned in this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos about cryptocurrencies. Pring, which has been offering cashless payments for years, is in the process of merging with Google as part of Google's desire to move into the fintech market in Japan. Now that Pring is under the authority of a bank that is partnered with Ripple, it means that Google has now teamed up with Ripple. We all know that XRP and Ripple are associated with more than 400 financial institutions and banks, so it is one of the biggest features of them. Then, another big name has also announced its association with the company. That is why I'm going to discuss the partnership between Google and Ripple in today's video. And of course, the purpose of this video is to share a little bit about how Google has been involved with Ripple and the impact of the larger firm's partnership with Ripple. Also, in conclusion, the price analysis indicates that the unique digital token is seeing a surge in price. All right, let's start the video. It is known that Ripple is affiliated with the company either directly or indirectly. Meanwhile, Ripple-related companies don't advertise that they are involved in Ripple or that they have begun using Ripple technology. Similar to Google, it is not going to tell us that it is partnering with Ripple, but it will instead be indirectly involved with Ripple through other companies. According to Crypto Analyst, it seemed like we weren't using Ripple. However, the truth is we actually do. This means that we will use the payment services of other companies that use Ripple. In this regard, people are skeptical of Ripple since they cannot see it working from the front. And now we learn that Google will be launching fintech services in Japan. Further, a major U.S. tech company acquires a payment startup that bodes well for the U.S. marketplace. Additionally, Nikkei Asia reported that Google was planning to buy Pring, a Tokyo-based company that accepts payments and settles claims for $180 million to $270 million. Surely, this move gives the IT giant a foothold in the country's growing financial services industry. In addition to 50 banks, Pring's network includes 7-Eleven and various companies owned by Mizuho Bank. In Japan, even though Google has its own Google Pay service, its credit card and prepaid card processing is outsourced to another company, increasing costs in addition to decreasing control and reliability. According to some reports, in the first half of next year, Google is planning to offer fintech services, such as payments and transfers across Japan, similar to their offerings in India and the United States once the deal is completed. With this, in a country that has so far been resistant to cashless transactions, Google entering the Japanese market signals an important shift. And using the Pring app, customers can make payments, send and receive cash, and withdraw funds using mobile devices and laptops. Furthermore, it was reported in Nikkei that Google plans to take this step so that it will not have to rely on third-party payment and other related services and could provide these services internally. In addition to this, Google will be able to accept the license that Pring has with this acquisition, according to the finance feed. As such, it would be able to provide all the tasks currently carried out by the company, as well as more once the acquisition is finalized. That is why it is yet another boost for the payment sector, which has seen a lot of interest during the past few months as more and more users turn to digital payment methods over traditional methods, even for basic transactions. In the past few months, the pandemic has been one of the main drivers behind this change. In the attitude of users and the payments industry is reaping the benefits. Nevertheless, the smaller players are likely to feel the pressure from the majors entering the industry and trying to consolidate with acquisitions. In light of what we've discussed about Pring and Google, we need to know that Pring is owned by Mizuho Bank, and a partnership with Ripple for cross-border payments was formed by Mizuho Bank five years ago. So the Mizuho Financial Group was planning to partner with Ripple's blockchain-based cross-currency settlement solution in order to strive towards financial inclusion across borders. In an article published, News BTC reported that Ripple, a proprietary blockchain protocol developed by the R3 Global Bank Consortium, was in the process of being implemented. With this, Ripple leverages distributed ledger technology for speedy and cheap cross-border settlements. 
In the same way that every other bank or financial institution uses Ripple technology, Japan uses it as well for cheaper, sustainable cross-border payments. In Japan, Ripple is well known and is probably the most popular cryptocurrency or token these days, and they have long been associated with Ripple. In fact, a few months ago, Mike Kayamori, founder and CEO of Liquid Global, said that XRP wasn't only the most popular token, but the most widely used. As well as being backed by SBI, the company also invested in Ripple. A partnership has also been established between Google and Ripple, which indicates the company's partnership with them. Obviously, Ripple can have a direct or indirect relationship with the company, as we already know. Since the Ripple and SEC lawsuit are still ongoing, cryptocurrency analysts say it is quite funny that Google cannot use the tech. Further, SBI came to the relief of Ripple Labs after SEC filed suit against them, and companies started to distance themselves from the digital asset. In its statement, the SBI asserted that XRP is a cryptocurrency, and therefore does not constitute a security under Japanese law. Also, the firm has a strong partnership with the SBI, which facilitates speedy remittances under Japanese law, and it is treated as a cryptocurrency. As a matter of fact, prior to rolling out the case against Ripple, Chairman and CEO Brad Garlinghouse thought about moving the firm outside the United States because of regulation uncertainty concerning cryptocurrencies. In addition to this, for Garlinghouse, a country like the UK would also be an advantageous location for a move to start projects, since unlike the SEC, it clarified that XRP was a currency and not a security. Due to its classification as a cryptocurrency, Japan is one of the countries Ripple is seriously considering moving to. The Ripple company is also backed by Google, which recently launched its Google Pay services, where consumers can deposit their credit cards or PayPal accounts and pay from their mobile phones in shops and restaurants. As Google Pay moves forward with plans to have a payment application, it would be in the company's best interest to partner with Ripple. So, with traditional fiat visas and MasterCards on the wane, the tide is now leaning and roaring toward the adoption of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. Furthermore, it is reported by the Bitcoin News that in the coming years, Google Ripple will enlarge its use of payment options by taking into account its own offers. And a fast and efficient form of transfer is being developed together between the developers. Since networks are becoming increasingly interconnected, money transfers will become an increasingly important concept. So for XRP, what are the price predictions for 2021 and beyond? As a leading crypto, XRP is among the world's most intriguing. The decentralization of its system does not make it a top seller like Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc., but a number of institutions, banks, and investment firms are closely associated with crypto. Some traders believe that cryptocurrency's biggest selling point is their independence from outside companies, which may seem counterproductive. Nevertheless, crypto experts believe Ripple's success may hinge on it. Clearly, the SEC's case hasn't been resolved yet, so in the face of such uncertainty, how should investors react? Does Ripple stand to gain or lose strength? In December, when the rate reaches $1.075, wallet investors expect an average price of the XRP to fluctuate below a dollar. While the website does not predict a strong upward trend, the average price remains at a decent level. In September, the highest price has already surpassed a dollar and the minimum rate will not fall below 30 cents. But volatility is increased because the low and high prices will not be the same. And by the end of the year, the price may reach 83 cents, according to coin price forecast. However, a forecast was reviewed and XRP was expected to skyrocket to $5 just recently, according to the platform. However, in my opinion, my belief is that XRP's price will soon skyrocket as a result of Google's indirect partnership. That's all for this video about crypto, and thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates on the crypto market, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.